After taxes and the letter was taking home eight hundred dollars, so it wasn't too much money. Well, I used to be a dental hygienist up in Canada, and I hated that job. You know, I cleaning other people's dirty teeth all day. I was really miserable. I was working anywhere from 70 to 75 hours a week, six to seven days a week. I mean, practically every weekend. I don't really remember one weekend that I didn't work. I figured at any point in time throughout the day I was going to drop a heart attack. couldn't just quit what I was doing and stay home with my son as I wanted to. Literally, someone else was raising our child, and uh, you know, and it wasn't with our principles and our and our morals, and you know, that's no way to raise children. I had a coworker that was just awful, and I was just dreading going to work every day. The place I was living, in, I'm telling you, it was, it was a shoebox. I was managing a store. I had a lot of nice suits in the closet. No money in the bank, and uh, as I look five years down the road, everything looked pretty much the same. We got to a point where I just said, you know, there's, there's got to be a better way. My dad was actually a house painter, still is, and he's been doing it for 30 years. And I saw the road that he had been down, and I knew that I didn't want to be there. And I knew I didn't want to be doing that manual labor. I wanted to have something where I could use my mind and, uh, and be excited about it. When we retired, our combined uh, retirement Social Security income was about 28000 a year. Uh, that just gets you by. I was uh, waiting tables at Red Lobster. I had just failed out of college. And I was so broke, I was literally riding a bicycle to and from my job. And I really got depressed when I would walk into a business, because I, I did business to business. I was in outside sales. And they'd say, Frank, the beeper guy's here. So when they started calling me the beeper guy, I realized I was in the wrong career. I don't want to be that anymore. But you'd have to get all excited about it. And I wasn't excited about it. I was a wholesale furniture agent, which was great money. And uh, But like I said, if I stopped selling, there was no income coming in. So essentially I was chained to the business. I had gone to law school, but for years I'd been a musician. And I thought, you know, you can always be a lawyer, I want to be a rock and roll star. But the music business is nuts, it goes up and down. If I couldn't find a new tour, I'd be bartending and waiting tables and hoping that nobody would recognize me. Uh, corporate America consisted of 60 to 70 hour work weeks, uh, training executive management to do a job that I was doing, getting underpaid. Um, and as the company grew, I became more valuable, so it was a double-edged sword. The better I was at what I did, the more responsibility that was thrown on me, and there's only one me, and I was doing the job of three or four people. And uh, it wasn't recognized. It was taken for granted. And uh, that took a toll on my life. I didn't have a life. We had a great team going. I was building homes and she was selling homes. The problem was is I was building them during the day and there was many, many times that she was out trying to sell, close a deal at night, so our, our paths very seldom crossed. I'd always planned on being successful and, you know, and, and having to be able to retire. I always thought about that, but it didn't happen that way. I never have known anything else. Other, I mean, I've, I've never known any other type of uh, options other than going to work and getting a paycheck and my other jobs, and when I came in here, I was blown away. Cowabunga. Big houses, great cars, you know, for me it's shoes. Today was Anthony's very first field trip, and, uh, and I was there. If I wanted my boys to look very nice, I don't have to check the tag of the price, get my clothes, put in the cart. We're changing lives. We're making a difference in the world. We're making a difference in the world. We're doing, we're doing good in the marketplace. And that's everything. A lot of ways to make money. Mm -hmm. But there's not many ways you can really be proud about the way that you make money and affect so many people in such a positive way. When I got started, I was definitely looking to make money. 
There's no question. I was not looking to change the world. I was looking to change my bank account. You know, my first three days in the company, I earned about $300, mainly from retail. It was really exciting. It validated that you could actually make money. I remember my very first month, I made $1,000, and that was a lot of money. About a year and a half into the business, still part-time, I was making $2,500 a month. Uh, first month, $2,100. $2,100. On average, we make anywhere between $1,500 to $2,500 in profit a month. In the first month, I made $300. I was very excited. Then $800 the second month then 2,700 the third month, and then I decided to quit my job. Um, first month in business without having a clue, <laughs> literally our mentor said, do A, B, and C, and being a very willing student, I said, okay, A, B, and C, and first month, it was unbelievable, actually, um, we, our income was $1,500. Uh, personally, best month in the business was $2,800 did exactly what they told me to do and actually the very first month made a profit of seven hundred dollars and the second month we made fourteen hundred dollars a year exactly after i started the business my checks that month were five thousand four hundred and sixty eight dollars and twenty eight cents two months later my check went up to seven thousand eighty dollars and that was the month i went on vacation and came back and got that seven thousand dollar check so it's been amazing you know, the royalties grew five times in five months, and last month we hit about $16,000. And then when I got to 10000 I thought, well, that wasn't so hard after all. Maybe I can get to fifteen, And I went from fifteen to twenty, and then to thirty, and then even up to $40,000 a month. So it's just been amazing. A little over $25,000 a month. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> the first nine months of really getting going, uh, I had made a quarter of a million dollars. Everything already is really in place. We teach people exactly what to do step by step. So it's not like a traditional business where you're going to have to come up with the marketing plan. You're going to have to come up with the product plan. You're going to have to figure out the manufacturing. You're gonna, none of that. It's literally, here's step number one, here's step number two, here's step number three. So all you have to do is plug into the very extensive training program, start taking the first steps, which once you take the first step, that makes the next step easier. This is the perfect time and the right time and right places and the right company. There's still, still people that say, you know, that, that's just too good to be true, but... It's true, you know, I don't know what else to tell you.